This is the paper that people who sell, promote, or profit off of fatty 15 or C15 or pentadecanoic acid probably don't want you to see. The reason why is this paper was published in 2022, yet has not been cited in any of the papers I've personally seen on C15. And in a second, you'll see why. This paper, called Dietary and Plasma Phospholipid Profiles in Vegans and Omnivores, tracked how much C15 36 vegans and 36 omnivores consumed. They found that on average, the vegans consumed about 20 milligrams per day of C15, and omnivores consumed a whopping, comparatively, 481 milligrams a day. That's 24 times more C15 on average in the diet of omnivores than vegans. The question then becomes, how much more do you think is in the blood of the omnivores versus vegans? 10 times more, 15 times more? They were eating 24 times more. It turns out not even twice as much. In the vegans, 15% of the phospholipid fatty acids found in their serum was C15. But in omnivores, 25% of the phospholipid fatty acids was C15. That's not even twice as much. Why is this? Because we make it. We make C15. It's not essential. If vegans who are consuming 24 times less have almost as much as omnivores, it's not essential. We make it, and until otherwise proven, we probably don't need fatty 15 as a supplement. Save your money.